All right, on to the wrestling news of the day. The Raw ratings Monday night, the Thunderdome bump appears to be all gone. Post-pay-per-view well, bumps, largely well, gone. Well, wait a week just because I always say like one week could be a fluke, but it was really not a good number. It was, a, it was, it was um, you know, the number... Yeah, it wasn't a good number at all. It 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 was if like next week is similar to that. Well, sh- next week they're going against two football games, um, so it's you know, put it this way. Like in theory, next week should be way down from this week. So that's a scary not, proposition, isn't it? Isn't it though? Yeah, yeah. Because um, I think last year they were down. Um, God, like. From from Labor Day to the to the next week, which was the first week of football season, I think the drop was like four hundred thousand viewers. Now, obviously, they're not going to drop four hundred thousand viewers because they don't have they have a lot less viewers this year than they had last year. But um, and also this year, you know, last year they didn't have NBA playoffs at the same time, you know, going head to head. But the NFL is still going to be tougher than NBA playoffs. So, um, not just NBA playoffs, said NBA, NHL, and um, uh, what else? Well, that was, I guess that was pretty much it. But, um, but yeah, so it was uh, 1,725,000 viewers, 0.48 in 18 to 49, which is the 1,725,000 is the seventh lowest of all time. The 0.48 tied for the fourth lowest of all time. So, these are bad numbers. This is now in the Thunderdome. So, um, you know, it's not, it's like that was supposed to be the difference maker. And again, I don't want to get too much on something that's one week because every other show in the Thunderdome has done far better. But we also can't ignore that it's, there's a possibility that, uh, that Thunderdome bump may be short term and maybe the, the fact SmackDown's still doing well because SmackDown did very well this week. SmackDown was, was up greatly in eighteen to forty nine, not greatly, but seven and a half percent. Um and it was um I mean uh it was up greatly in viewers per home. So SmackDown did a lot better um than the than this past week. That could be, you know, again, the Bailey you know, the big the big bump was for the Bailey and Sasha Banks angle, which have been look, they've been planning that for two years or so, or it seems like. How long has it been? Two years, dude. It feels longer than two years. It feels like almost three. Yeah, it's so, been forever. So, so that's been the climax of something that's been built up forever, and it was the first week on TV, really, because the Roman Reigns revelation of him being a heel with Paul Heyman was the last minute of the show the week before. So this is the first TV with Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns together. So those are two big things that that probably helped the SmackDown number. Uh, Raw did not have that, although it, it was still Drew McIntyre's comeback. After being out two weeks with with what started as bleeding in the brain and ended up being a hairline fracture of the jaw. And um, they had nothing advertised, which probably didn't help a lot, especially when they announced... You know, the card in like the last, what was it, like 90 minutes before the show started? An hour before the show started when they started announcing the matches? I mean, I, I can't even tell you. Yeah, I think it was it was between an hour and 90 minutes. And you, you got to remember that that's Labor Day afternoon, so it's not like, you know what I mean? Like if you I don't think a, it matters. I don't think it makes a shit worse or different. If an hour before the show, it doesn't matter. Well, it might help a little bit, but no, I know what you're. But it, it, it's certainly not as effective as a week before. That's for sure. No, I I do Observer Live at noon, and then like between then and the show going around. I mean, unless I'm really looking around for stuff, if I don't know by noon Monday, like I don't know what's going on this show, and this is my job, so I don't think a lot of fans are like paying close attention to what matches are announced an hour before Raw goes on the air. Yeah, well. Obviously, that's not the most effective way of doing it, and the, and this number is partially, um, you know, partially attributed to the fact that 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 happened. Now, next week they do have, um, you know, they've got the uh, the women's title match, and um, the what's, what's the other the, the other big match that they have? Um, they had two big matches. Um, oh, the uh, the ta- well, the tag team match. It's not for the title, but the, the you know Nakamura and Cesaro against the Street Profits. So 
at least they have two matches announced. Although I don't see Asuka and Mickie James being a match that's going to make much difference. And the tag match, I mean, it's not really going to make much difference either as far as, like, the rating's not going to go up based on that match either. But it's at least something. But, um, yeah, the 18 to 34, I actually expect that uh, the... Um, Dynamite show tonight will will beat that number in eighteen to forty nine eighteen to thirty four. They won't beat eighteen to forty nine. Um, um, but you know what? The other thing on that eighteen to forty nine number being what it is, is, and and the decline being so great, is that we're back on that trajectory thing. You know, it's like it is only one week, but if this becomes like the pattern, and the trajectory continues to decline, that period of when those lines intersect with AEW in 18 to 49 is still there. Like, you know, if, if, if WWE stays at this level and AEW stays at this level, those lines never intersect. But if WWE, you know, falls like another 25, 30% this year, like they did this past year, and AEW just basically stays the same, um, you know, at some point the lines intersect and that's not a good thing for WWE either. But, um, yeah, the, um, the show, as as often happens, Labor Day, um, people tune in late because they just don't get home at eight o'clock. Um, you know, because the last whatever the last weekend of the summer or whatever. So it it often Labor Day, while not necessarily a low number, it usually peaks an hour two rather than hour, but but it doesn't um, rather than hour one, but it doesn't decline as much in hour three because when you start an hour later. You don't get burned out by the show as much. But this time, that third hour was, a, a you know, it wasn't a giant drop like the week before, but it was a bad third hour number. Um, and, you know, sitting through that third hour, I mean, I remember sitting there thinking, going like, this is going to be a bad number. Because you got those, those two women's handicap matches that made no sense at all. You had Dominic Mysterio and Murphy, which was a good match, but it's like, that's your main event, Murphy? You know what I mean? I mean, and, and look, Murphy's great, but he's got, he's been given no push. It's not no even like credibility. Seth was out there with him to cut a promo beforehand and be at ringside and lurk around. He wasn't even there. No, no, Seth. And and, it, and it's Dominic. It's not Ray, even though I think there's, you know, Dominic's done a great job, no doubt about it. But you're talking about main eventing against Murphy. I mean, as soon as I saw that that was going on last, I was like, what are they thinking? They're really asking for trouble in hour three. And, you know, they, they got the trouble. And, um, and there's three Kevin Owens and Alistair Black segments of a minute each that ended up going kind of nowhere other than, I guess, Dabakato is going to be like this week's three week monster, right? It's usually what everybody gets. Yeah. The WWE concussion lawsuit. Well, real, 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 real quick. Um, so, like I said, so SmackDown did really well, though. SmackDown was um, in 18 to 49, did a 0.61, which, other than that one Raw, uh, the first Raw in Thunderdome, um, is the best 18 to 49 number that's been done in months. So, they did real, the, 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 um, Nine o'clock to nine thirty, which was the um, the tag team title rematch with Sasha and Bailey and and uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, and um, and then their subsequent breakup, I think did like, um, what's the number? It was it was a big number. Um, like it's an angle three years in the making. It should do a huge number. Yeah, yeah. Let me just get that number it was it was like 2.3 million viewers it was a real high number um what do we got 2.32 million so that's like the highest segment for anything in months on uh any show so yeah that was a big one so that was good let me just see if there's any since i got the raw stuff here um yeah raw did a so if you if you're looking tomorrow um, Raw did a .23 in 18 to 34, and it's, I think, unopposed, even though I guess technically, um, you know, um, NXT was on sci-fi head-to-head, -head, so it's not really unopposed, but it's not going to be, 
but it's it's it was a show from the night before, so it's not it's not first run. Um, I think they're real, you know. AEW head to head. I mean, I mean NXT head to head with with the AEW head to head with NXT has beaten that number a couple times of late. So, without strong NXT and coming off the pay per view, there's a real good. I mean, I would I would expect it. It may not happen. It's not like a lock, but I think that the odds are in favor that that it it does. And you know, again, the idea that 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 um, AEW should be beaten. Uh, raw in any demo and and it, it it usually does win with women i mean it'll be interesting to see if the women if the women come back that is actually the one thing because AEW did lose the um women's audience when they moved and they they didn't get it back last week um so we'll see if they get it back this week but if they get that women's audience back this week um you know i mean uh yeah then they would win in that demo for sure because the men's audience will be strong. The men's audience will be will be there to a pretty big degree. It's just a question of the women's audience. Um, that's the unknown for 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 the show.